We're currently in the uh, Victor Lanage shipyard in uh, Rijeka, Croatia, with the Helix Producer 1. Started out as a uh, train ferry, and uh, ultimately it'll service the Gulf of Mexico as a floating production unit. The primary reason we're here in Croatia and, and the uh, activities that we're undertaking to uh, widen the vessel for one, we started out approximately 17 meters and now we're 29 meters. We added sponsons, about 2,100 tons of sponsons, and the primary purpose of the sponsons is stability and then it adds some strength as well. Previously, it just had uh, shaft-driven engines and we've gone to a dynamically positioned system. We've added three aft azimuth uh, thrusters. We have two tunnel thrusters, bow thrusters, in the uh, forward section. We have two retractable azimuth thrusters as well. In addition, what we've done, we've gone through the systems here, the piping system, electrical, all the utility systems, and we've added a, a good amount of not only steel, but piping, electrical as well. Just to give you order of magnitude, the steel addition is about 3,500 tons. The piping, we've gone from about 130 tons to 250 tons, so virtually double. The electrical, we've added about 115 kilometers of cable. We have approximately 300 people working on the vessel currently. Most of that right now is in the piping and electrical systems. We're in dry dock now, as you can see, and a lot of the hull coatings are, are underway. This is the floating production unit, as we alluded to previously. It has no storage capacity. That differentiates it from a uh, FPSO, which has both the storage and offloading capability. So the idea with this turret system, or disconnectable transfer system, the fact that approaching uh, hurricanes, you can disconnect within a very short period of time, move away from the storm, and then obviously come back to production once the storm has cleared the area. We're on the, the latter stages of the project. When we're mechanically complete, we'll get into the commissioning phase of things, then go to some sea trials. Ultimately, when it leaves the facility here, it will go to Ingleside, Texas at uh, Keywood Offshore Services. And at that point in time, we'll outfit production modules for the Phoenix development, which uh, previously was the Typhoon development for Chevron. The overall rate there will be approximately 45,000 barrels a day.